Hi everyone, uh, I've decided to to start the, the analysis of the, um, of the beginners game and uh, this is the first game which I was asked to, to help with the analysis. Uh, the board is turned around uh, because the player uh, who asked me for this was, uh, uh, was Gotte. Uh, uh, I'm not writing down who who are the players I'm not sure if I should do it so I'm just I'll just call them uh, like normal Santa and Gotte uh, and I think uh, that both players uh, can learn something from this the, the, the game was rather long and there were many things which can be fixed so I hope that uh, it will somehow uh, help them. Uh, the game was played on 81 Dojo be between players uh, with 9Q, uh, it was Gota, and 7Q uh, was, uh, was Santa. Okay, so so let, let's start the, uh, with the analysis. Uh, okay, so uh, Santa decided uh, for the for the central rook, I just it's possible that uh, as the board is uh, is flipped, uh, at some point I can change from center to gotte because it's unnatural that center is on top. Uh, well, no, maybe maybe so, sorry, I will just uh, make it. Uh, yeah, center on, on bottom. I, I hope that it will be still helpful for the player who, who was playing Gotha because it will be much easier for me to not make any mistakes during the analysis. Uh, okay, so I'm, uh, I'm not sure if this uh, if starting with this uh, silver is, uh, is correct. Uh, not sure why not just uh, just opening here. I'm not sure about the Joseki, but uh, it will be complicated uh, in a moment. Yeah, so just uh, just like this. Uh, you see now this silver is uh, is too far, and uh, it's not uh, not quick enough to to defend from from this sequence. Well, maybe it's not a disaster, but it's. Uh, but now Gotha has a pawn on his hand, uh, and he has a he has cleared this uh, this line, right? And also, if, if now the, the king will uh, will hide, now this this pawn is protected only by by the silver. So uh, so at some point there might be some dangers. Well, of course you can later help support this pawn but still I think that um, that if for example now play here it should be um, should be okay I guess I'm not sure about this arrow maybe maybe the the engine is telling me that this is a good move not sure, but honestly, it's yeah, maybe it's a book move, but it's hard for me to understand why why it would be good to to make uh, to let uh, the opponent make this um, make this exchange. I'm not sure. Okay, but uh, let's go back how the game was. And yeah, uh, for sure this should be uh, exchanged, but the opponent didn't do it. And yeah, I'm not, not sure if it's uh, if it's okay to, to go with a rook there uh, at this moment. It's, I I really don't don't see the purpose of going to this uh, 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 to this central rook because 
at this point and later in the game it will be also seen that uh, there is no it, it seems like Santa has no uh, no idea on attack like, like he, he's not preparing anything uh, it looked very passive so I'm not sure if it's correct at this point to to get this uh, this rule back okay now uh, this I also don't, don't understand uh, so you see the, this castle uh, it's uh, not uh, not so good uh, I don't think there is such castle uh, well, because the, especially this gold is unprotected, and it's also always possible to uh, to drop a silver here to, to harass those those generals. So I'm not sure why to play like this. Maybe, maybe even this uh, kind of castle would be better. But uh, okay, you just need one move. And you have a proper Mino castle. Uh, and uh, additionally, as you are pushing only one uh, general upwards, uh, then you can also uh, make, make this, right? Because also, uh, let's imagine. Okay, th there, uh, there were two. There were two moves to, to, to make this castle, right? So the gold move, silver move, two, two moves. So in the in the same time, just go here, uh, for example, here, here. So it's, uh, it should be much better, right? No, Okay, so the next moves. This I'm not sure if it's not too uh, too fast to develop the uh, the knight, especially that it was attacked later. Uh, yeah, also making this hole. But in general, I think that at this point it's just better to maybe move silver, uh, so the rook is more mobile. Uh, yeah, the silver can help in attack. Uh, the silver is helped, uh, is supported by knight. So it seems uh, much, much better. Oh, sorry, I'm some, sometimes I'm using the wrong key and I'm moving like 20 moves <laughs> or something. Uh, I'm not sure about this drop. Thinking if it's possible to, for example, block it somehow with uh, no, sorry, not, not with a pawn, uh, with a gold here and attack the bishop. But maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, this answer is, is okay. Uh, but it uh, it makes this uh, this castle a little weaker, right? And we are pushing the pawn on the file uh, on which. Uh, the opponent would like to attack, so it's it's not uh, good, but probably there is nothing better to to stop this. Uh, um, we don't know this silver, uh, this uh, bishop to promote, right? But uh, well, he can only promote here right now. So I'm thinking maybe like this, but. Yeah, you uh, should be able to promote like this. So maybe this uh, this drop is okay. Um, and I'm not sure if it's it's good to start attack uh, on on the edge uh, of our king. Uh, Because you, you, you know the, the opponent will, will, will want to attack here. 
our king won't be safe and uh, the goddess king is quite uh, safe at this point uh, okay I still don't like this castle but uh, but Santa has no no potential attack uh, and instead of maybe I think still might be possible to just go uh, through the middle but now he he starts this uh, this edge attack uh, I think it might be not the, the best idea uh, okay but here is an interesting uh, tactic uh, yeah the, this wolf is maybe not so good uh, but uh, how about uh, this move? Because you, you, see, you see, this is the, the consequence of why earlier the knight went here instead, for example, silver going there. Uh, now, if the if Lance takes it, we drop a bishop, and uh, probably. Uh, yeah, because we have to defend the lands, right? So probably this might be the, the good, the proper defense. But now we go here, and uh, it seems good uh, for Santa. But uh, it was possible to uh, to promote uh, his bishop. So I think that this might be a, a good tactic. But dropping it here, it's maybe not the, the best idea. Uh, here, why why going with uh, with gold? Mm, silver should be should be correct. With the idea of just uh, at later point uh, attacking this, uh, the head of this knight. So this move with a with a gold, uh, it just weakens our castle. The, the silver is still uh, doing nothing, um, and you know there is also this thing that. In general, uh, there is this proverb that you want to drop a silver in front of the knight. And, and one of the cases is that, well, let's say that he will take it. If we recapture, the gold can't go back anymore. But uh, if silver would be here, now silver is possible to, to go. So, so in general, uh, the silver and the gold uh, are good to. Uh, sorry, the, the, the silver is is good to uh, to protect uh, other pieces from knight's attack, and gold not really because when gold takes the the knight uh, in this way, he, he can't go go back. So that that would be much uh, better. Of course, after this this night drop, I'm also not sure if this night drop was was correct uh, because I think it's okay. Now gotta go here and uh, what's the idea of this knight? He only protects this uh, this pawn. Well, it's not bad, but okay. What, what's the plan now? As uh, Gotta is threatening to attack the head of this knight. And Santa still has no attack. Uh, there is no. Uh, this rook is doing nothing at this point. Well, if we go. Uh, I think we can even. Uh, ignore it at this point. Because if it goes there. Uh, Three pieces are defending it, so so we just go forward probably, or or we, we could just uh, maybe take it and push. Well, of course, and this is an, another problem that uh, the rook is aiming uh, 
uh, that is gold and it is unprotected. Yeah, yeah, th th this is a problem because of this uh, bad uh, shape of castle. If it would be a uh, amino castle, there would be not such, such a problem. But uh, I think still this attack might be might be better, right? So yeah, I think definitely silver would be better here. But it went like this in the game. Okay, did, uh, this is not not good because uh, uh, okay, you are uh, taking uh, you are mo mo talking to bishop. Go away, bishop. Okay, because uh, the bishop is threatening this this silver. Um, but uh, well, maybe we can even just, uh, for example, go there. Uh, that the, the bishop, that those, uh, all those squares uh, are protected. So I'm not sure if anything can can be done here. And the the, the problem is that okay, now he he moved the uh, the bishop to the long diagonal. I think it's also a disposition not a be not a good idea because you, you know now we are spending a move to invite the bishop to change his position. At this point, the position of this bishop is maybe not so good, so uh, it will like to to change it. Uh, and uh, here, okay, we are attacking. We are uh, making uh, the, the Gotte is making center to make a move. Okay, but this is the move which center wants to do an anyway. So. So this is uh, not not the best move. Uh, I think that now going here is a nice idea with uh, with this idea because uh, the the structure of the pawn is uh, that uh, if the bishop, if the bishop will come here, well, well let's say that okay, he will come like this. Okay, and now uh, well. Pushing the, those pawns uh, is not uh, not safe because, uh, uh, for, for example, well, we can even take with a with a bishop, right? But uh, sorry. Um, okay. Sorry, I, I'm starting to using this uh, BCM. <laughs> I have some problems. Okay, so so like this, and uh, yeah, if you push it, this is still nothing. So maybe you, uh, if you push this pawn, it's protected by silver. But after this, uh, this is a very strong uh, threat to the king, right? So you, you don't want to go like this. Uh, so, what other options you have? You can block with a silver, maybe, or knight, maybe with a bishop. Uh, but probably, you know, if you if we take it now, uh, if it's taken by knight, this this head of knight will be will be attacked. Uh, so maybe with a silver, but now this uh, this structure is not so not so good. The, the silver is not protecting uh, gold anymore, and the silver can can be attacked. And uh, if it will be uh, exchanged for the knight, this head will still be uh, weak. And you know we can even, for example, go like this. So some ideas like this might, might start to work. This will be always a, a problem. Uh, therefore, I think that at this point this move was bad, 
and this move was also bad because you are all, only helping well th this move for once it helps the, the the opponent's bishop to to go to better place and it also opens this diagonal and uh, you will never be able to go back with a pawn right so that's not that's not good um, and this move is not so good because it uh, it helps uh, Santa to, to develop the attack with, uh, with his knight. Well, it's not the attack yet, but yeah, yeah. well, in general, it, it helps the development of, of the silver. Okay, so here the, the idea is uh, correct, I guess, to, to attack the, the head of the knight. Um, okay, here. Well, What's the point of this move? Uh, well, let, let's assume that... Ah, okay. So the idea is to, to promote here. What, what I'm trying to to do is is tell you that this move is only losing a move because if you play some other move, uh, I don't know what we can play, but yeah, for example, like this. Uh, oh, he can't even take it because. The knight will take. So, so I can't find any good justification for for this move, especially that. I don't know if you have. Um, okay, because the the threat of this move is to to promote here. And maybe to take this gold. But was it necessary to, um, to sacrifice this uh, this pawn at the first place? I'm not sure. It seems for me that it's it's a bad direction. But I, I have some problem with. Uh, I think why it is bad. Ah, okay, okay, no, this is this is nice. This is actually nice. Nice idea. Okay, but still, so was it necessary if if you are dropping this bishop? I'm not sure. Okay, but th this is nice uh, idea to uh, to promote this bishop here, and this is also uh, very nice. And I think because uh, Santa took the bishop at this point, I think Santa should just drop a pawn here to help protect this uh, this edge uh, this, uh, it seems that the edge will be uh, destroyed at, uh, uh, anyway um, but this will uh, this will probably help to that, that uh, Gotha will have to drop another piece and uh, and if you just uh, take it then it's going here with check. Uh, I'm not sure if it's necessary to take up this point uh, this night, but yeah, I think it's okay. And uh, it seems that if let's say that we we drop a pawn right now, so. Gotha will need to, to use at least some other piece to uh, 
to break this uh, um, this edge, right? So, and that, for example, if now we take it. The outcome is uh, different that Gotte uh, had used uh, uh, a lance, uh, had lost a lance instead of a palm, right? So that would be maybe better to, to drop it. Thinking if it's good to take with a rook, maybe a gold. And I think it's okay. <coughs> um, okay, at this point it looks okay. Not sure if this is necessary, but but maybe. Well, well at, at this point, it seems that uh, that Gotha is in much better position because Santa has no attack, still no attack at this point. Okay, and dropping a pawn here. Not sure because you you won't be able to drop a pawn here or here uh, later in the game with this pawn, and uh, as he played here, it's it's okay. But I think that maybe playing here and staying on this diagonal with ideas like this. Might be better, so it, it seems that this move is helps the the, the bishop to well, maybe not helps to, to, to be in on this diagonal, but uh, it enables it to stick on it anyway. And, and for once, you you don't have a pawn in hand, which might be useful. And the other thing is that you you won't be able to drop a pawn uh, on a five a or five c later. So I think should be go back here um, and uh, just promote the, the lens maybe here or, or here might be a good idea well okay th this Maybe okay. This uh, one good thing is that uh, Bishop won't threat the silver anymore, right? If he goes here, uh, sorry, and he goes here, he he don't threat here anymore. But uh, maybe just this is a good direction. I'm not sure, but it it looks better. Because this, this will go for the temple. Okay, this drop looks uh, not necessarily bad, but uh, but what, what what's the idea? Uh, you don't catch the, this bishop anyway. So and and this pawn is protected by gold. So so I don't see the point of, of this move to be honest. If the bishop would be on this diagonal, then, then okay, move like this might be good because. Uh, Because the, if the opponent would drop a knight here, then the, the pawn can take it uh, because something is blocking the bishop. But like this, 
and uh, this is similar as earlier this move, right? And you will find later in the game that this was probably a huge mistake. Uh, especially that... Okay, uh, I understand that you don't like bishop on this diagonal. It's, it's natural. Uh, but, but you, you know, okay, so at first you invite the, the bishop. Come on, move away from here. And okay, it moves. And now you say, oh, no, I don't like you here either. And it's still on this diagonal. But uh, this diagonal is open right now. And your king might be in trouble later. And now it's not easy to, uh, to tell this bishop to go away. Would require a, a, a lot of other pieces or, or this slow attack, which is not the best idea. Okay, so uh, this I'm not sure if I like it uh, because uh, you are telling King to, to go somewhere where it's a little bit safer. So I think it's not, not the best idea. But, uh, I'm thinking what what might be the, the good idea. Uh, it's not good that that we dropped this pawn earlier. That now we don't have a pawn on hand. Uh, but uh, how about something like this? This attack, or maybe, uh, maybe just promote at this moment uh, with the same idea. So anyway, it will be nice to to, to move the, the rook out of this this bishop's way. Yeah, no, no, Santa's idea is is okay because uh, <laughs> because you know if you for example s stay like this, you you still have a bishop on your hand, right? So for example, go like this, moves here. Silver goes there. Uh, okay, so no, maybe it's ah, maybe it's not fast enough in this variation. But okay, let's let's start like this. Go there. Here. And now, okay, you can okay, maybe lose lose these lands. But this bishop is not so powerful because he did not thread this uh, this rook. Well, there still are problems, but okay because this is a threat. Um, maybe you can even deal with it like this. It's not the, 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 the prettiest position, but, uh, but it looks stable. And as it went in the game, uh, now I'm not sure if I can even take it. Well, this. Oh, okay, he took with a knight. I think that. Like this, it looks really not, not good. Uh, for example, like, like this. And now uh, this knight is uh, very strong. And your, your castle is ruined. 
maybe maybe like this oh, but you can maybe this this sacrifice might be might be somehow strong and yeah it is actually strong some ideas like this. Yeah, so this doesn't look good. Um, oh, and by the way, th this is interesting. With this, uh, uh, if if now uh, it's sent as move. If now we will go in this uh, with this direction, for example, now uh, Santa is on move, right? But uh, but if we go like this, now it's got as move. So uh, this variation is uh, not good for Santa because it's uh, one move slower. Now Gota is, is on the move, so uh, so it's better to to first take with a with a bishop. Now we are on the move, so uh, this is our little bit better. Yeah, and uh, now, now this is a very nice. Uh, it shows very nice why it was bad to to push this pawn. Now, now this pawn is pinned, and it's, it is a problem. Okay. What is the point of this move? Okay, we, we lost the dispawn, it's, uh, I guess it's not the point, uh, maybe we should protect it, but okay, never mind, but what's the general point of this move to, because the, the only threat there is, is to take a lance which is protected by, by the rook, so, I see absolutely no, no point in this move. You are using the the bishop, which you are, you are dropping it here. It's very slow. You should keep it uh, on hand. Yeah, probably now it's, it might be a good idea to defend the spawn, like like this maybe. But uh, this this bishop drop is not good. Okay, now uh, well, it's another problem of this bishop drop uh, that now uh, you can just move uh, the gold, right? Because it will take it, and of course, uh, the, the, the general problem with. Uh, with this bishop drop is that now it enables uh, this attack. Okay, uh, okay, that seems good. By the way, the problem of this uh, lens drop is that okay, we we've exchanged it for for better piece, but now. This might work at some point, so uh, so this is uh, our big weakness, I guess. So maybe, maybe not the best idea. Uh, I'm not sure if if this is correct, or maybe we should take with a silver. So if we take with a silver. We are weaker from here, so maybe 
maybe it's good to take with a knight. Okay, we've lost the rook anyway. Well, exchange it. And, uh, the problem is that right now our bishop is. Well, maybe not, not so bad because it's aiming at this pawn. And this is. Uh, it looks nice, but probably it's. It's too slow. Okay, defense like this. And of course, uh, I'm sure the player uh, knows that this is such a big blunder. Yes, yeah, still the position looks uh, much better for Gotha. This is this is terrible. I think that uh, this is the the proper continuation. And for example, uh, Santa has no time to, to take it. Right? It's it's too fast. So uh, maybe like this. But now this this is also very aggressive. There are still. Uh, these ideas, so, uh, so it's strong, and yeah, of course, this is a, a huge blunder. Uh, even after this, I'm not sure about the position. Well, we, we, we can't count, we can count the material. So both sides uh, have four generals. Uh, and this is a equal. Uh, okay, three knights versus one knight. Oh no, the lances are better for, for Gotha. And well, okay, Santa has uh, two rooks, two bishops. It's uh, a big force. And okay, now Santa's king he looks quite okay uh, because when we still had the had the bishop, this kind of attack might be might be dangerous. Not necessarily at this point, but well, but maybe or like this, and it's. Not so easy to, to protect this king from from all threats. Yeah, but this uh, this is a big problem. Uh, yeah, and okay now now this knight drop is too too slow maybe. Uh, not sure if it's good to go back to the king. Uh, Something better to maybe go here. I'm not sure. So maybe like this. Uh, it looks not so good that uh, the rook is close to king, but it seems that the king should be able to escape and the rook also should be able to survive it. And uh, and I doubt that Gotha will have a, a fast attack uh, to, to, to successfully catch the king. Um, and Santa has some, some strong threats, right? So I guess that... that Escaping wrecking might be not the best. Uh, okay. Yeah, this uh, uh, this night drop is a, okay, a good idea. Uh, well, good direction, but uh, not sure if it will work anyway. Okay, yeah, this uh, 
this is a strong bishop drop. It uh, protects this square and aims at the king, uh, which can't be protected by the by the pawns. Yeah, so silver here. Okay, we we can drop a land somewhere. Maybe here. Because you, you know, okay, if we drop a lens here, uh, we don't. Do, we are losing piece which we could use to do some attack. If we drop it here, it has some threats, but uh, but maybe it won't be able to move because of the spin. So not sure. So, yes, but you know, the, the problem of the silver is that now. This gold is very weak. Okay, taking this silver. I don't know if it might be possible to, 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 to have some faster attack, but maybe we can just go like this. Uh, this. I don't know. <laughs> well, if you go like this, then at least promote it because you can go here and uh, and now this, this knight is doing literally nothing. So, for example, if the opponent don't want to exchange his silver for your two knights, then he will just take it. So, if you want to make the opponent take it then yeah you have to promote okay I remember if it was already a, a checkpoint so that the open that center That you have an attack, then, then, then drop it here because uh, if, if there is a mate, then and I'm not sure if there is a mate, but uh, yeah, it seems that there. there should be something, but. So like this it should be it should be a mate, yeah. Uh, but like this that you sacrifice your your bishop uh, 
now drop a rook and now drop a knight. It's a bad direction. It's the bad move order because uh, you, you get the opponent uh, the bishop in hand. You don't want to do it. Uh, if your king is not fully safe. Now this looks like it hurts a little bit. Okay, and then it looks like a nice threat mate. I'm just worried if no, because the, the, the king uh, can just escape, right? But in general, it looks like a with, with a good taste. Yeah, a very nice uh, ending variation, but I still think that if, uh, if, well, sorry, I want it. if there is this, this variation of it, then Just take it first. Well, or maybe I've. Oh, okay, because my idea was here. Ah, oh, okay, but you can just. Take a bishop right now, right? Okay, so maybe uh, maybe this is not the best idea, but still, I think you just you just take it because giving giving up the, the bishop at this position is maybe a little bit dangerous. It's okay. Just, well, in general, it's, it worked out. But of, of course, the the biggest mistake in the game was uh, was this one, of course, right? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, the, the, this this lost the game, and probably some other attack uh, should be enough to, to finish Santa because Santa uh, has only yeah, yeah of course you can take it he has two uh, uh, two big pieces on hand so it's uh, it's uh, some force but I believe that Santa's uh, camp is too easy to attack with all of such a lot of pieces. Yeah, yeah. This, this is probably um, too much for Santa to, uh, to survive. But I will just check one thing. Is the move okay? So uh, I always say that don't play too fast. Uh, it took uh, Gotha one second. He fought only one second to drop this bishop. Uh, of course, I understand that this that this is uh, that you want to, to drop a bishop in positions like this. It's perfect for such a fork. But uh, you you always have to uh, pay some attention to the moves you are playing. Always spend at least a few seconds for it because uh, yeah, if if you've played for a long time this game, it, it took you a lot of time, 
I've seen that some moves from both sides, well, well, it took more than a minute. And now you're losing the game with just such a blunder. It's, uh, I'm, I'm sure it's frustrating for you, so you shouldn't do it like this. Okay, uh, so uh, thank you for watching, and uh, if any of you have uh, videos, uh, have Kifu, uh, which you would like to, to be analyzed by me, uh, then uh, you can contact me here on YouTube, or ask me on Reddit, or on, on Facebook, my name is Krzysztof Sheja, you can ask me there. Uh, and I. I will try to, to help you with analysis of your games. Uh, and uh, I think that the, the players which are stronger than, for example, 5Q, uh, it might not be, I might not be a good analyzer uh, for you. Well, maybe if you are you know, third, fourth, maybe even second Q. Uh, and you can try, but if you are stronger, if you are first Q or, or you are down player or stronger, well, I, I'm a first down player, so I'm not so so strong. So, uh, so I think uh, it won't be helpful for you. So, I'm mostly encouraging the, the lower Q players to uh, to send me videos to to come. Okay, ho hope uh, that you've liked it, and thank you for for watching. And see you in the, some next video.